Hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Samiruddin. I am working as a pre-sale consultant in Westcon Middle East and managing Broadcom security. So in today's topic, I'm going to talk about uh, how the integration works between the endpoint protection manager uh, with the web security service and also how the customer can leverage uh, you know this capability when they have the endpoint security in place when it comes to the integration with WSS. So to talk about the WSS, uh, I will just give you the small overview of like what is the WSS and how uh, the functionality works when it comes to the you know proxy based architecture so uh, to start with you know everybody is talking about the sassy base framework nowadays and you know we are the uh, as in wss is the one of the sassy base uh, platform or the solution you can say and which covers the proxy based architecture over the cloud so uh, on this screen you see on my right hand side you have got uh, internet and hosted application on the public and private cloud and also on the left hand side you have a different kind of uh, you know the variety of methods wherein the user is trying to access those application yeah so to secure those uh, uh, application and to monitor those application traffic for the users so what you can do is you can avail the proxy based architecture over the cloud uh, with the WSS and what WSS does is it terminate all the traffic on us on on this platform and and also it does the authentication of the users to uh, give the access to the you know the applications whichever uh, they are requesting to along with that it can also uh, do the file inspection when the user is trying to download any content from the internet and also uh, AWS does the the decryption of all the SSL URLs. Uh, what are the other functionality uh, it provides along with the the traffic termination is like a web isolation. Uh, it's kind of a browser isolation uh, with uh, WSS uh, and also does the DLP. Uh, it can integrate the DLP. It can integrate also with the CASB. It does the URL classification and also uh, does the sandboxing and many more. So this is just an you know small overview of a web security service. So in today's session, this is not uh, going to be our main focus. So main uh, you know topic for today's session is like how the integration happened between the endpoint protection manager with the WSS. So to talk about the endpoint integrations, I just give you like how the user, uh, the, how the customer can take an advantage when they have uh, already endpoint uh, security in place. Yeah. So uh, if you see semantic endpoint protection is uh, the most powerful uh, or uh, you can say it's a more powerful agents uh, in the market wherein it can have the different uh, engines running in a single based agent so be it in edr be it in uh, you know the application isolation or deception so on also on top of it what you can do is you can also configure the the policy for the the web uh, web redirection yeah so to avail this integration between the endpoint and the wss so this is the few uh, you know the features what the endpoint has and what, what are the other things you can avail when it comes to the integration with the WSS. Um, so I will just uh, talk more into uh, the architecture of uh, WSS, how the, the traffic will flow uh, from the endpoint to the WSS. So basically WSS use the, the pack file approach and install in the, in the all the endpoint agent and it can also uh, push multiple pack files using the endpoint protection manager uh, easily to all the the groups and the, you know the all, all the existing agent and this pack file is tamper proof uh, so uh, being a single user uh, we cannot change the pack file uh, and it gonna be hardened on the endpoint agent yeah so these uh, things I will show you uh, in my demo, uh, like you know how you can integrate the WSS with the endpoint security manager. 
along with that you know we can do some testing like you know we will browse some uh, uh, the website or we'll see the the pack file harden capabilities all the stuff in our coming demo uh, talking about uh, the connectivity options which are there on the WSS yeah so as I said you know uh, they can go uh, with the different up approach you know so when uh, the customer has the you know the the static base locations uh, the original offices multiple branches and they want to they don't want to rely on any of the agents and they want to create the uh, you know location based forwarding so they can go with IPsec tunneling you know directly from the regional office of the headquarters to the WSS uh, so that it can monitor all the traffic from these locations uh, and also the WSS has the the proxy chaining uh, based uh, connectivity options so if you're already running the proxies on your environment you can uh, uh, you know integrate the, the proxy chaining architecture with the WSS yeah uh, to talk about the agents as I said you know uh, in today's session we are going to talk about the integration with the endpoint uh, and we we'll leverage the capability of the endpoint along with that you have uh, an uh, the other option like uh, WSS so this is uh, again the agent from the WSS you can deploy on all the machines and do the redirection from the WSS if you don't have the endpoint security in place yeah if you still want to have the pack file you know you want to use the legacy mode of uh, pack file so you can copy the pack file and uh, explicitly uh, define on the browsers to do the redirection from the endpoint agent yeah so let's move on uh, to the demo so in in the demo I'll show you like how the integration works uh, between the WSS and uh, the endpoint security managers so let me just open the demo environment then we'll continue from there so yeah guys to uh, do the demo on the WSS and SEP integration manager so I just log into the WSS console uh, this is how our dashboard looks like so wherein you have all the detail of the traffic which is passing through the WSS console so yeah as, as we discussed on the previous slides you know uh, so how the the connectivity between the WSS and the SEP manager works so I will walk you through all the step yeah so if you click on on the left hand side you have an option for the connectivity as soon as you click over here you have like different mode of uh, you know the deployment or the flexibility options you know wherein you can go with the pack file if you want to avail these features or if you don't have endpoint protection in place you can go and install the WSS agent okay rather you know depending on the endpoint security you can have the WSS agent okay uh, so in today's uh, session you know as per our today's session we are going to talk about the integration between the endpoint security so as soon as you go to the endpoint security uh, page you have the token details wherein you know you need to have the integration token in order to have the integrate uh, integration uh, you know uh, between the WSS and the endpoint security manager so uh, in so what I did here is like I have created one uh, integration token uh, so I just copy this token uh, so as soon as you click on new token basically you know it generates the token so you need to copy this token and go back to the SEP console so this is how our SEP manager console looks like so under the SEP console you need to go to policies uh, you have the integration policy available here you have to go under the integration policy and uh, so I have created one WSS redirection policy already in place so I will go and edit this policy to show you how what I did for the integration token so I just copied the integration token from the WSS and uh, paste it over, uh, over here under the SEP manager console okay so along uh, with the integration token you need to have the pack file URL to complete the integration between the WSS and the endpoint security manager so uh, to copy the pack file from the WSS where you have to go is you need to again click on the connectivity option you have the pack files available so once you go to the pack file you can see the global pack file URL you can just copy this pack file URL and go back to the SEPM console and paste it over here yeah once you 
once you paste it over here you need to go and click on ok button so now what you have done is you have you just integrated uh, the SEP manager to the WSS so next step what you have to do is you need to assign these policies to the clients yeah in order to uh, you know do the the reflection or in order to do the redirection uh, basically from the agents so now if you see on the screen uh, to assign this policy you need to go to the clients and see like how many clients you have and how many groups you have under the client so basically for this demo i have created uh, uh, only one group under this group we have only one agent running so i will go back to the policy again i'll right click on the wss redirection i'll click on assign button so as soon as you click on assign the page will open and wherein you need to select the group okay to assign that policy so i just select that group and click on assign button yeah as soon as you assign this policy it will take uh, like uh, another like 10 10 minutes to reflect the real time or in you can push it uh, from the manager also so the the client is updated so we can go and validate uh, the policy as well from the client so yeah so i'll go to the 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 windows machine i will open the endpoint protection client just right click on it double click on the agent it will open the window here and we can validate whether the traffic uh, you know the the policy whether the policy policy is updated or not so i'll go to the client manager click on configure settings wherein you can see the wss redirection tab is already added under under the client manager settings and also it has been updated with the pack file so pack file you cannot edit or you cannot modify it as a you know normal user you need to have the you know the full privileges from the cpm manager yeah basically it will harden uh, your agent for the pack file so now we have uh, validated the the policy also let's go and you know test the web traffic now so what i'll do is i'll open a new window now I'll go to the browser. I'll just, uh, yeah. So uh, you know to validate whether the traffic is redirecting properly or not. So in the WSS portal, we have one URL wherein you can validate the connection. So the the URL it's like test dot threat pulse dot com. So as soon as you go to this URL, it will give you all the detail whether your traffic is coming to the WSS node. So, uh, so when you see you are protected, it means that your traffic is going to the WSS console. If the traffic is not going to the WSS console, then the message will be as you are not protected. Yeah. And also, I have created one uh, policy uh, under the WSS console to block the youtube you know uh, to i will show you what i did is so here i have created one policy any source going to the youtube should be blocked yeah so you will just test this policy whether you want uh, whether it is you know uh, working or not so let me go back to the browser i will open again i will go here and type the youtube yeah so let's see whether it is working or not so once you uh, you know go to this url uh, so you will see this message saying that application is blocked so it means that you know it has been blocked by the policy yeah so uh, you can configure different kind of policy and avail this capability from the wss so yeah so that's it from my side guys hope you like the video for more videos please subscribe our channel thank you so much